as our principal vessel for prosperity. Transportation is a central component of economic growth. But in a world grappling with the need for sustainability, transportation's share of greenhouse gas emissions is still a cause of concern. Still largely fueled by fossil sources, motor vehicles today account for one-fifth of CO2 emissions. Engineered to mitigate this impact, electric vehicles continue to open pathways to climate-friendly transportation. Policymakers are increasingly recognizing this potential by encouraging electric mobility. Electric vehicles are going to have a really bright future. I know the vast majority of people don't drive an electric car today, but I am very confident that as more and more people do drive them, they'll realize just how good an experience it is, how it meets their needs, how it's lower cost to actually fuel it, and less repairs, less maintenance. Um, so we got to work though to get the cost, the purchase cost down. Sometimes people say, well, isn't this a rich person's product? Well, initially, like many things, they, they start out expensive, but the costs come down. So if you're on a tight budget, an electric car will actually make a lot more sense for you than a gasoline car in the future. The enthusiasm for electric vehicles' potential for sustainability is also shared by major car manufacturers. Electric vehicles are today an integral part of the global mobility market, with a fleet of more than 17 million cars and a market of more than $1.3 trillion. And how do electric cars get their energy supply while they roam around? Through those things, we have come to know as batteries. And thanks to their ability to store energy for extended periods of time, lithium batteries have become a core focus of sustainable mobility designs. 40% of the total value of the car is attributed to the battery. And within that, again, 80% of the battery pack uh, is determined by the cost of the battery cell. And in the battery cell, again, 80% of the materials, like lithium, nickel, manganese, cobalt, what's in there. So it's uh, also for an OEM mandatory to have a full understanding of the full value chain down to the mining. Every year, since 2008, the International Conference on Advanced Lithium Batteries for Automobile Applications has become a traditional venue of academics, public servants and industrials. This year's edition was held in Morocco at Mohammed VI Polytechnic University. The conference gathered a variety of stakeholders interested in sharing the latest research trends in electric car batteries. It was also a chance to discover material science's essential role in optimizing the energy capabilities of all batteries used for mobility. We all understand that decarbonization is a must these days. There are many ways to do that. Um, one of them, is, of course, is by har harvesting uh, energy from the sun or from wind. But all that energy has to be stored as well. Well, not all of it, but most of it has to be stored to be, a to be able to use it uh, in other applications. So storage is one of the most important um, elements that we need to actually uh, consider. Uh, and, and so research in materials, in technologies, in processes is all extremely important uh, if we're going to move forward uh, in terms of um, uh, bringing in new solutions for this sector. Yet another proof that science does not stop at the lab. The straight line between material sciences innovations and sustainable transportation confirmed the need for more synergies between researchers, business and governments. When it comes to sustainability, we're all in it together.